Hello food fans, time for breakfast. We're going to have a breakfast, we're going to have some waffles. These waffles I uh, purchased at Aldi and it was $1.95 for a box of 10, so about 20 cents each for the waffles. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, six waffles, so six times 20 is $1.20. And this is going to be a low cost meal. Unfortunately, as a processed food, the waffles do have a lot of sodium, and since I'm getting six of the uh, waffles in this uh, particular video, I will be consuming 66% uh, of uh, my daily suggested allowance for sodium. But in addition to that, I'm going to have something to make the waffles extra special, and that'll be bologna. I'm just going to uh, fry up one. I'm going to fry the bologna, and it'll be only one slice. And this uh, was from Kroger, and this uh, has 10, 10 slices of bologna in this one package for $1.59, so 16 cents each for the bologna. I'll give you a total amount for the meal very shortly, but right now, let's get started! I will leave it up to each of you to decide how long you cook the bologna to get it the level of uh, fried uh, superbness uh, per person. Uh, everybody wants either more or less cooking on the bologna part, so I'm going to make this the uh, brownness that I like. Let's see what it looks like on the other side. Give it a little flip. With the spatula. And I did put some nonstick spray in the pan. Let it cook a little bit longer. And one more flip with the spatula of the 16 cents worth of bologna. That's the way I like to see it. I will let it cook for about a minute on the other side and I'll turn off the heat and uh, put the bologna into the plate with the waffles. And the waffles are almost ready. I have to put the syrup on them. I have waffles and I've got uh, a fried bologna slice in the middle of all these waffles and I have some Kroger syrup. Uh, don't remember how much this was but it wasn't very much and I had a coupon. Kroger sends me a coupon about every month for a discount on pancake mix and pancake syrup because that's one of the items I buy on a sort of semi-regular basis. There's lots of syrup there. And we have the waffles, we have the bologna, and we have a secret ingredient I shall get over here. A banana. And the banana costs about I think it was about 25 cents for a banana. And certainly if you're serving a group of people uh, maybe figure one-fourth or one-half of a banana is all you need to have a really nice meal with the secret banana ingredient there. I'll put the rest of this over here and get the banana taste. That's nice. Now what I need next is the secret beverage which is going to be coffee. And this is instant coffee. This is called Beaumont coffee. Instant classic roast, 120 servings. Uh, comes out to less than a nickel per serving. And I got this at Aldi's. And let me get that over to the cup. And a little bit more perhaps. A little teeny bit more. And I probably have an average of uh, one cup of coffee per day. I don't really drink a lot of coffee, but I do like it, and I don't put sugar in it. Although I have nothing at all against sugar, I'm going to use my spoon to 
taste the waffles here, the waffles and the syrup and the bologna, and the banana. This, this is actually a very big meal, and the total price per serving is under $2, believe it or not. Uh, and that is if you buy your waffles at uh, Aldi. The waffles at other stores and supermarkets like uh, Kroger would be more expensive. I could get pancakes at Kroger, pancake mix and make pancakes. And with coupon savings I would uh, be doing all right. But the prices are definitely going up. These uh, waffles about a year ago would have been 95 cents, now they're $1.95. But I'm not complaining. I have it very, very good right now. Very tasty. Here's a uh, look at the cost. Six waffles, twenty cents each, dollar twenty. Syrup, about thirty cents worth of syrup. Bologna, one slice, at a dollar fifty nine for ten slices. That means sixteen cents for one slice. Banana, twenty cents I've got here for a banana. Coffee, ten cents. Dollar ninety six is the total damages. Hope everyone has uh, had great pleasure during this uh, busy Christmas season. I'm going to put more uh, syrup on here. I'm a uh, fan of pancake syrup. I, I've enjoyed pancakes and waffles ever since I was a little kid, uh, grade school, whatever. And as I said, the uh, waffles have, uh, the, if you're using six total waffles, you're getting 66% of the recommended allowance of sodium. But sodium is everywhere. It's hard to uh, avoid it. I get lots of healthy foods every day, healthful foods like um, cabbage, bananas, orange juice, peanut butter, raisins. There's lots of healthy foods that I eat on a regular basis. Bananas taste good. You could also put any fresh fruit on there like um, blueberries or blackberries, or strawberries. For those who are wondering about how to start up a YouTube channel or what the equipment you would need, what I'm using right here, this is a Canon Vixia. Uh, video camera, Can Canon Vixia HFR, this is HFR 500 and this is HFR 800. And the good thing about Canon Vixia cameras, which they don't make anymore, you, you could probably find one in uh, eBay or somewhere, but uh, they have an input for a microphone. That way if I want to do something at the piano and the, the camcorder is six feet, eight feet away from me. I can run a microphone from right up against my mouth over to the camera. But if I try playing piano and singing eight feet away from the camera without a microphone put into it, then you would not hear my voice. I use an old video editing system. It's Magix M M A G I X, and the 
software is uh, 2013. So and from nine years ago, I'm still using that software. Time for coffee. Coffee goes well. Coffee without uh, sugar goes well with waffles. Whether the caffeine is good for you or not, I would not know. So far it hasn't caused me any problems. I can drink a cup of coffee and lay down and go to sleep without any difficulty. This is good. Very good, easy to fix. Um, partially healthful, nutritious meal at a low cost. Cheap, cheap breakfast. No secret dessert today. You don't have dessert with uh, breakfast. And for those of you who are making videos or planning on making videos, I would suggest a site like Pixabay, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y. They have some free videos and still pictures that you can use in your project. I think most of the flavor here is from the syrup and the waffles. Most of the healthful input is from the banana, the banana, the banana, the banana, the banana, the banana. I have some friends who are starting up uh, some channels. At YouTube, we'll see what happens. I visited this month with uh, TK from UGK is back. He's also from the Wink T H E W N K. Those are his YouTube sites channels, I guess. He's very creative. Very good editor. I also recommend watching the uh, Riffle Brothers Cinematic Fanatic. That's their channel. Cole Seagroves has a nice channel with a lot of Christmas songs in one of his videos. He and I might do uh, some sort of collab in the not too distant future, I hope. If you have a channel, just List it in the comments, but don't uh, go crazy. Don't sound like a salesman. You can be a salesman, but don't sound like one. The cup says you're one in a melon.
And if you do make videos, don't stop and give up because you make a mistake. Put the mistake out there. That's probably going to be the thing that gets you a viral video. I've had lots of videos with mistakes in them. You know, it surprised me the price on the bologna that it has come back down to a dollar fifty nine for one pound. <clears throat> about a year ago it was ninety nine cents, then it went up to about uh, two dollars and ninety nine cents. And now Kroger has one package of bologna that's a one pound package that costs a dollar fifty nine. Hope you're having good weather. The predictions for big freezing storms coming is not anything to uh, applaud. The bologna adds a lot of flavor here to the waffles, and it's cheaper than an equal amount of uh, bacon, although bacon is quite tasty. The waffles probably would cost uh, about $2.99 at most of the supermarkets. At Kroger, I get coupons that give me good discounts now and then. Plus they have the Kroger Club, which I belong to since I was in California. It was the Ralph's Club there. The place I most liked living in my travels, California, Southern California, Hollywood in 1956. That was pretty nice. I saw lots of free shows and famous people. And I liked Las Vegas when I first moved there in 1961. Last time I was in Las Vegas was probably 20 years ago. It just wasn't the same. Waffles are good. What is your favorite breakfast and your favorite economy breakfast? Hope you've been having a good time. I, I went to the post office today The line had about a dozen people in it, which is not too bad, except they only had one clerk at the post office. But at least there was someone there doing the postal job. This, as you know, is a very busy season for the uh, people in the USPS. And I assume that's true around the world, different countries with different holidays. Probably are experiencing quite a uh, uptick in volume as far as whatever work they're doing. Do you think AI, artificial intelligence, is a good idea? For example, cars that drive themselves, is that good? Is it better than having 
bad drivers driving cars. Waffles are good. Coffee is good. I can't tell the difference between uh, expensive brands of coffee and low-cost brands like the, the Beaumont there that uh, I've been drinking. What do they do with the caffeine that they take out of coffee when they make decaffeinated coffee? Do they sneak over to a bridge and dump the caffeine into the river? Keep the fish awake? We've got to look into things like that. Also, the uh, cameras and choice of uh, equipment that I use to make videos, sometimes I use microphones that plug into the camera, and I use low-cost microphones. I do sometimes use the SM57 that I've got, and that's a microphone that usually costs $97, but I use other kinds of microphones that cost $29.95. I don't think it's the equipment or the expense you go to traveling to make videos that is going to make you successful at YouTube. What everything boils down to, in my humble opinion, is the person in the video. You can make a video that has no human face in it. For example, you could make top 10 comedy movies, top 10 automobiles of all time. You can make videos that never show the narrator's face. You can get royalty free music to put on the video. But I think if, uh, if you're a songwriter your best bet is to put your songs out there. If you have recipes, ideas, <coughs> excuse me, ideas about food, what ultimately happens is the audience either likes you the person who's giving the recipe or they don't like you. The If you go to socialblade.com socialblade.com you can check any YouTube channel that you want to check and see what the views per day are. You can find out lots of information about each channel. And if you do that, you'll find out that there's some channels that have very good looking videos, but they don't get very many views. Why is that? Um, how come? How come they don't get lots and lots of views? Most videos that have a million or more subscribers, there's someone who people like 
at the camera. And it could be someone like Humphrey Bogart used to be the villain a lot in his movies. He was a bad guy, but he was likable. He was a very popular movie star. Hmm. This is a very good breakfast. I have no complaints. I am the luckiest person in the world. I'm happy to be me here now. I've been fortunate to have good health for a long, long time. I hope it continues forever. And I know a lot of nice people. The last of the uh, waffles. Mmm, that was good. Thank you for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the breakfast. And I hope um, all is going well for you for the rest of 2022. And I hope that 2023 is a great year for you. Thanks for watching. All I want is a little more time. I got everything pretty much under control.